From a carbon fiber 8K camera to a 38 inch ultra wide display to the latest car tech from Ford, this is the coolest tech on the planet. So first up is the Red Weapon Helium, and in terms of camera tech, this is at the forefront of badassery. The camera itself is this beautiful carbon fiber modular body that allows it to not only be lightweight, but also extremely adaptable to pretty much any shooting situation. Without a doubt though, the wow factor of this camera is the fact that it shoots in 8 freaking K resolution. And I know someone's gonna say, bro, that is overkill. Why do you need so many pixels? And it's actually less about outputting a video in 8K, which is still awesome, and more about the flexibility you get in post. Now you really don't truly appreciate how crazy 8K is until you bring it into your editing program. So within Final Cut Pro 10, for example, this window right now is 25% scale. If we were to bump that up to 100%, you can see how crazy the detail is. Beyond that, not only does it shoot 8K, it shoots 8K up to 75 frames per second, which is bonkers. Something I use all the time is 8K at 48 frames per second, which conforms down to 24 and gives you this really smooth cinematic slow motion shot that adds a ton to the video. As cool as the resolution and the slow motion is though, one of the most useful features hands down is the fact that you're shooting in RAW. You may have heard that term used in photography where all the data and information is still there so in post you have a ton of flexibility. Well you have that here, but with 8K video. So for example, let's say you're shooting outside. Maybe you underexpose a shot or even worse, you overexpose a shot. With most cameras, you're kind of screwed because it is baked in and there's nothing you can do about it. But with RED, you can change it in post. It's crazy, it's kind of like God mode on a video game. This also applies to white balance. And the idea here is not to say F white balance, I'll worry about everything in post, but more so having that extra flexibility just in case is nice. So next up, I got a chance to check out the Ford Fusion Energy Titanium, and huge shout out to Ford for not only trusting me with their car, but also sponsoring coolest tech on the planet. Now on top of looking super clean, there is a ton of tech packed inside this car, starting with the fact that it's a plug-in hybrid, so you're getting the best of both electric and gas. So when you're utilizing both electric and gas, you're gonna get around 100 miles per gallon, which is way better than anything I've ever used. And then conversely, even if electric was out of the picture and you were solely using gas, you're still gonna get around 40 miles per gallon, which is fantastic. On top of that, remote start is even cooler because there's something special about turning your car on while you're not in it that makes you feel special inside. Dual climate control is awesome, especially when you have a significant other that turns the heat way higher than it needs to be. Now as far as the tech you're normally used to, inside this guy is an 8 inch touch LCD that is powered by SYNC 3. So with this you're getting a nice large display to navigate and to interact with, but for me it was actually my first time getting to check out Apple CarPlay. It's simple, it's clean, and having those icons laid out largely in front of you instead of having to look at your phone is definitely a plus. And as cool as that was, the most fun I had using the Fusion was using its park assist, especially with parallel parking. Now I guarantee it, the same guy that yelled at me about 8K is gonna say, why do you need help with park assist? Can you not parallel park? Can you not drive? And to you, sir, I say, yeah, of course I can parallel park. But those situations when you're out in public, there's a ton of traffic, a ton of pressure, not having to think about it is kinda nice. So once Park Assist is engaged, simply drive forward and through the Fusion sensors, it's gonna let you know when to stop and a spot is found. From there, pop it in reverse, back up, and then the Fusion will begin to do its magic. And I gotta say, it is kind of awesome. Even with me backing in way faster than I probably should have, it still worked really well. So that combined with Sync 3, the looks, the tech inside, Ford is killing the car game. Now last up is the 38 inch ultra wide curved display from LG. And if you've seen pictures or video online, that really doesn't do it justice because seeing it in person, this thing is massive. This is packing a resolution of 3840 by 1600 on an IPS display, so the color and the image on this is phenomenal. Now me personally, most of the time, I prefer a non-ultra wide monitor simply because I like to focus on a single window at a time, but on the flip side, maybe you're a multitasking ninja. You're gonna go nuts over this. On a serious note though, Screen Split 2.0 is actually really useful. What this does is gives you multiple resize options and picture in picture modes, which helps keep things nice and tidy. Now beyond the display itself, I really enjoy how well thought out and how much functionality is inside this display, starting with USB-C connectivity. So through a single USB-C cable, you can connect your laptop, transfer video, data, and charge it at the same time. There is also a USB 3.0 quick charge port, which in turn allows you to quickly charge your phone. Useful. 
Now, this monitor also features Bluetooth connectivity, which normally might seem strange or weird, but because the speakers on this actually sound pretty good, it kind of makes sense. So all in all with this, you're getting dual monitor real estate in a single package, plus a ton of tech pack on top of that. It looks great both picture quality wise and in a setup on your desk because it is definitely gonna turn heads. And overall in a tech world filled with monitors and displays, this one is unique and definitely stands out. Aside from that, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to smash that like button. If you haven't yet, definitely feel free to subscribe. Maybe check this video out. This is Jonathan and I will catch you guys later.